solutions in minutes. This is our first lesson on Azure Function apps. So let's go ahead and uh, take a stab at this. Uh, here we are using Visual Studio Code, which has a um, uh, integration with Azure. Um, and so we're going to leverage that. We also have some tools installed um, that allow us to run these functions locally before we actually deploy them to the cloud. So that's kind of a nice, convenient component of using Azure Functions. So let's go ahead and start by um, creating a project. And it's going to be a C-sharp language. We'll use .NET Core 3, and we're going to use an HTTP trigger. We'll update our function name, add example in there. And then in this case, what I want to do is call this my function. And the access rights will be anonymous. So go ahead and deploy all the using statements that we would need in the cloud. Things like Newtonsoft, JSON, um, Azure Web Jobs. ASP.NET Core.NBC, System.io, and so on and so forth. So function is really straightforward. Um, it, it basically uh, deals with a uh, get message and a post. And then it routes it as needed. Now, the other thing that it does is it posts to the log in Azure um, a message saying, hey, here's the request that was processed. And then it um, initializes a variable name that is using a query uh, from the request. And the request body, of course, is then leveraging the stream reader asynchronously to parse through that information. The JSON conversion is then uh, deserializing the object of the request. So um, that's the main component. And then, of course, you have the response message, right? So we we post something and then we get something back and so this HTTP triggered function executed successfully and so on and so forth and of course we can extend this but this is the framework of a traditional Azure function and then of course they can get very elaborate and we'll make some really really cool uh, videos on how to extend these uh, to do all sorts of um, incredible things with our data in the dataverse so um, what we're going to do is go ahead, go ahead and run this locally, which is a nice benefit, and uh, take a peek before we actually, in another video, uh, post this over to the Azure cloud and see if this works in the cloud. So I'm running it. You can see right here, it's executing the task. Let's find out if it does what it needs to do. And here it is. So it's parsing through. And now we have the function that was called get post, and it pushed it to the local host. So now what do we actually have here? What we have is exactly the message that we would have gotten on the, on the actual response back on our post, right? So we posted and we got this response. Nothing particularly um, remarkable about it, but it will become remarkable once we actually deploy this to Azure. So we'll do that in our next video. Thank you so much for watching.